pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. All right, here's Mike. Hey, good morning, everybody. So, who's excited to go to California? Yeah. Uh, go, go to, go to sunny SoCal. Um, it should be a fun journey. It should be a very spiritual journey. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be a lot of evil that is going to try and infiltrate what we're doing. So you need to be strong. You need to not fall into the trap of rumors and bad TikToks and all this other happy crap that goes on. And uh, keep your eye on the prize because that's what we're doing. And don't worry about it because we are, I like to say we are on the right side of evil. And when you're on the right side of evil, you're doing the Lord's work and it's protected, whether you believe in that or not. And, uh, we will be okay, and we will prevail, and we will accomplish this mission to raise awareness to how horrible California and, as we're finding out, some other states really are and stuff that they uh, want to try and pass through. So, um, like Marcus said, we're going to roll out of here and go to AC&T and top off and, and start this journey out. Something has come up. The People's Convoy will depart on March 31st, 2022 and will head west towards California from where their first starting point was. As it states on their website, they have an opportunity to raise awareness as they travel west from state to state to gain attention to hopefully stop some mandates, atrocious bills before they become law. The mission directly aligns with what the People's Convoy stands for and is fighting against. Laws first passed in California, which tend to spread to other new metropolitan states. So before they rally back to Washington, D.C. on their third cross-country mission to finish what they started, this detour's purpose is to hopefully stop the new COVID bills, 10 precisely, that are up before legislature hearings and are getting scheduled for these bills in the next two weeks. More information in the description below and on their website and Facebook page. For now, let's see them in action. Editor, roll clip, fair use. If you end up in a situation where you're being pulled over or anything like that, be friendly, courteous, kind, considerate, even if they're violating your First Amendment rights. Keep your composure, document it, record it, and then send it to me. The uh, protest making their way past our studios. <laughs> and you see, that's what people have been hearing. This was as they were uh, going uh, through the uh, main part of uh, uh, Bethesda down Wisconsin Avenue, heading into the downtown area, blaring their horns as they've been doing. Uh, not a lot of sympathy here in downtown Washington this morning. Don't hit the road till 10 o'clock, so the morning commute isn't really impacted. Um, we'll see how it goes through the rest of the day. And again, they say this is going to be day after day after day going forward. And if you're wondering, you know, with gas prices the way they are, how are they fueling their trucks and not going broke? They're getting a lot of donations from across the country online, guys. Today we decided that we're going to go onto the Beltway. We're going to do this the way that we've done it, coming all the way across the country. We've been lied to so much about this. I, I don't even know what to say. It is very important that we do not get off the exit that we're not supposed to be getting off of.
I'm good with not driving in uh, because the government is unpredictable um, and people in the government are unpredictable. I'd like to stay here until we actually accomplish something concrete. It goes 50-50 there for who wants to get right into D.C. and then who's cool with doing the Beltway cruise. The, the crowds, we'd been seeing a lot of crowds at bridges and stuff, but when we pulled in there, it was just wall to wall people on the on, a, on a, uh, the, the off ramp, people walking up, and, and I, I was kind of overwhelmed with the whole thing. I, 35 years of being a second class citizen truck driver, you, ever, you know, because that's how we feel sometimes. We go into these warehouses and these guys, you know, deliver your stuff and I get the hell out, and, you know, can't park on our lot. So you leave and you go down to the local grocery store or big box store or someplace. Oh, you can't park here, you can't park. Nobody wants us around. They want us to bring the stuff in, but then as soon as we, we're, we've we accomplished you know, what they want, get the heck away, go, you know. So here it is out of 35 years and finally feeling appreciated. It's, you do not know the feeling that gives a, a guy. It's just uh, uh, veterans coming back from war, or things like that. I, I, understand, I never went to where I was in the army, but I never went to where I served per, 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 uh, sir, peacetime, but I, I think I have a good feeling of what that's like now. That's you know, beautiful. it is. It, it's. Uh, yes, it. Uh, I can't think. I haven't. I haven't cried in 30 years. Like a baby. Well, welled up. Well, <laughs> I wasn't bawling, but I was just like. No time to be comfortable. We have to fight. Every authority in this country, in this world, our laws were written and our authority is delegated by God Almighty. When the laws of this country violate and go against and contradict the laws of God, then that government has become tyrannical. They have to be, they have to be overthrown. We have to revolt. We have to resist and do anything we can to protect our freedom yes. and we must be involved yes. we must be informed yes. and we must be motivated to act and we must act yes. 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 teach your children get them involved so they can stand so that when someone approaches them they can stand and know what they're talking about you understand me if educate yourself so that you know how to resist they are trying to make these mandates into laws because by the 13th Amendment, if it becomes a law and we break it, we become involuntary servants. We become slaves. They are turning our country into one massive, huge slave ship. And I don't know about you, but I'm not signing up for that cruise line. See, get a vaccine. If you want to carry a gun, carry a gun. But it's all about the freedom to choose. Hey guys, it's Jose, your regular Joe Blow again, keeping an eye out and my ears open to all information that can help us move forward for our betterment plus our continued freedom. Guys, the truckers are still at it, keeping us up to date with They get my full support and thanks, even with all the craziness and everything currently happening. We must remember that we will stand. We will still have problems here and if we don't fight to stay free, we won't be able to help ourselves, let alone others. So let's start by cleaning our side of the streets first. Just like suggestions they, that's always given on flights. They always tell us to put on our mask in case of an emergency to put it on first before we put it on on others. Learn from our fellow Freedom Convoy USA. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end. As always, stay free. I excel, then prevail.